I was in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates, today moving into the famous marina with an incredible view and also exploring the incredible beaches. Hello everybody! I am in Dubai and uh, I'm at the Hilton Hotel. I've been here for a week but I actually have to hurry and check out because it's already past 12. Today I'm moving to the marina of Dubai which is the place I think where everybody wants to go and everybody wants to live if they are in Dubai. You also have the famous JBR beach there I think. So we have to hurry, get on the metro and then uh, head in to the marina of Dubai. Here we go! One little bag. Here we go! So now I'm out here on the street and I was actually staying quite close to the airport and uh, the metro is just around the corner so we're getting on the metro. I could have taken a taxi but I can't check in until 3 p.m. anyways so I might as well take the metro and uh, use that time. <laughs> the metro is really nice and modern but out of all the times I've been on the metro I haven't been getting a seat so it's a little bit crowded and uh, even though the trains go on a regular basis like every four or five minutes it's still really really packed every time and I think that's because um, Dubai has been growing at such a crazy rate you might ask why do so many people move here not only because it's incredibly nice and modern but also because people pay zero income tax like no tax of any kind inside the metro it took a little bit more than an hour and I came from the airport area I got off the train here at the Dubai Marina and I'm getting on uh, this uh, tram one stop to get into the actual marina I'm standing out for more than an hour I had arrived to the marina in the famous JBR beach. I was by the yellow buildings that you can see in the image. Here boats were going in and out of the marina and the ocean. Now I just had to find my apartment. I got out here in the marina and uh, whew, it's hot today. Now we just have to walk to where I'm going. I think I'm going this way actually. <laughs> I do have my map but I feel like it's a little bit less stressful here compared to the downtown area of Dubai. Uh, in the downtown area it was hard to even get out on the onto the sidewalks but here there are actually sidewalks and sightseeing buses even. I think I'm almost, almost where I need to be at. Hello! Oh, I have arrived. This is from Airbnb and it's right in the marina. I'm gonna show this place. You can actually see the beach from here. Here is the kitchen. Here is the bedroom. You can see the beach a little bit over there. This place the... cost a bit more than $100 per night and I think up until now Dubai had been quite cool to see but a bit disappointing also. It seems to have been growing at a quick pace and with tall buildings packed together everywhere. Now my friends we're going to the swimming pool. The swimming pool and then I'm also gonna show you the marina here. Eat something also hopefully we can find some typical food for here. I've mostly found Indian food, I feel like. Uh, but let's go to the swimming pool. Let's go to the swimming pool! Actually, it has been a bit hard to do tricks here 
in Dubai because there's always uh, security guards and um, I don't think they like tricksters. Here is the swimming pool, really nice infinity pool overlooking the marina here. It would be so nice to jump and do a flip into the pool there but I would get in some deep trouble for sure. <laughs> I've noticed you can get in trouble here. <clears throat> so we have to behave and be proper and not do any tricks. This pool was incredibly nice but living in this area comes at the price. Seems like minimum $3,000 per month for a relatively small apartment. a guy from Pakistan and uh, he told me that there's beach access here and I met so many people from Pakistan since I've been here really friendly people everybody I've talked to super friendly people here deep frying here now it feels so good it's so nice and warm I'm actually getting used to the heat when I first came to Dubai it felt so hot but now it's also another week passed by so it's getting a bit colder and colder gradually from now on most people they come here beginning of october and then they stay for like six months and then it's too hot during the summertime is what i've heard people say here are all the construction workers going home i think look many people posted comments saying that there were unfair working conditions in dubai but i asked several people they said that they made way more money here compared to their home countries of for example Nepal, Pakistan or India. Yeehoo, I'm here. There must be thousands of people here. You look one way and you see just like an ocean of people <laughs> and also an ocean. the water temperature is here oh it's not very cold actually at all you don't really get cooled off here oh but it feels good actually to be in the water very good now the whole beach is even more packed I think it's because it's coming closer to the evening One thing I forgot to say here is that you can't drink alcohol, I think, on the beach or anywhere, like on the streets, in certain bars, I think. We need some groceries now. Ah, oh, no! I'm out of the grocery store. Two bags of uh, groceries. No! Hello, I came back. We got some groceries. I'm gonna show you what I got and the total price of the groceries. One bottle of water, actually two bottles of water, three liters of milk or maybe two and a half liters, half a small chicken, I think that was 10 dirham, uh, $3, some noodles, a little bag of pasta, five dirham for the pasta, $1.50, uh, one tuna, 12 slices of cheese, oats, two steaks, loaf of bread, meat loaf, no, loaf of bread, uh, five, seven bananas, another uh, oatmeal, and uh, bell pepper. Total of 95 dirham. Actually, not bad. That's like $30 for all this stuff. Uh, ooh. Mm. Oh. I'm so good. Mm.
Hello! Hello everybody! I said that I was going on a yacht tour, but I woke up too late. I woke up at 11 today, so instead I'm gonna show you what it's like to live here in the marina of Dubai. I'm just gonna make some coffee here real quick and then we'll get going. Before I came to Dubai, I realized that most people that were here, like all influencers and stuff, they were living in the marina. So today we're gonna find out why. Why does everyone live here in the marina? The other day I went to the beach here, which was really nice, so that might be one answer to the question. So I'm gonna start out by going to the gym, man. And I know, like, when I first came to Dubai, I was planning to make really informative videos. But um, I also want to document my life. So today you're gonna come along with me. Ooh. I'm on my way down to the gym and the pool. So we have to do a quick workout and then we'll be exploring the marina. So this apartment complex here consists of three buildings and the pool and the gym is on the, uh, by this building here. This is the gym here, such a good gym. And also with the view over the marina here, you can see all the boats going by when you're in here. I have been doing some bicep curls, bicep curls to get the pump. And then we're gonna do some shoulders and chest. My absolute favorite thing about this apartment complex was the swimming pool and also the great views from the pool. So I kept coming back all the time to enjoy and cool off. It's the last moment of sunshine here before the sun goes behind the building. But I think this is one of the nicest swimming pools I've seen. The view and also just the surrounding areas. Very great success. That was a nice little pool session. Now I'm going back up for a bit. I'm back! I'm back! After the gym! That was really nice. The gym was perfect, the swimming pool was perfect. Now we're gonna eat half a chicken. Half a chicken and then go and explore the marina some more. Chicken, I bought half a chicken the other day. You have to heat up the chicken. Heat up the chicken. Come on, come on. Hello. Oh, now it's hot. And ready. Very good. Mm. I had to change a bit before eating the chicken. Milk. Nom, nom. Bon appetit, my friends. Have a chicken. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't have any ketchup though. <laughs> I apologize if this video doesn't have as much value and information about Dubai as you were hoping for. But we have to make more videos. More! More! Not every video can be full of information. Oh, look. There's a bunch of people going skydiving here. Look. I don't know if you can see. The chicken is pretty good, my friends. And I don't know what happened to this day. It's already in the afternoon. I woke up too late. I woke up too late. Oh. I'm, I'm like a savage. I booked my ticket actually for the yacht tour tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. We're gonna go on the yacht and eat a buffet. Nom, 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 nom. I couldn't finish the chicken. We have a quarter of the chicken left for snacks later. My plan now is 
to rent an electric scooter and go around the marina. Listen to that sound. Pretty cool sound. Choo, choo, choo. Here we go out to the marina and see if we can find a scooter, electric scooter, my friends. Let's go, my friends. Let's go. Don't know where I can find this, uh, these electric scooters. They should be here somewhere. Here it is. It's called Karim. Karim. I have to download an app. One of these bikes. I got the electric bike now. I don't know, know how much I paid. Like 20 dirham, I think. But it's kind of unclear what you have to do. Like it says you can ride all day for 20, but then it also says you have to return it after 45 minutes. Otherwise they start charging you extra fees. It's pretty cool. It's like an electric bike. So you start pedaling and then it starts going super fast. You get like an extra charge somehow. <laughs> electric charge. Now we are going across the marina. Very nice. Look at all the tall buildings here. I'm gonna cross the bridge here over to the other side of this marina. It looks quite similar everywhere you go here in the marina. Now I'm all the way over on the other side. Huge buildings and huge yachts. Maybe this is where I'm going from tomorrow. I'm not sure actually. We'll see. Look at all the yachts here. This place was interesting, but it did look the same everywhere. Buildings and boats and a few stores and restaurants here and there. This is the best bike I've ever had. Woohoo! You pedal like one time and then you keep cruising. I kept going a bit and here is the big marina. And also all the parasailers are coming down here. The parasailers that I was speaking about earlier. Or parachute. Parachute! Now I've been going almost a whole lap around the marina. Really cool place, but most of the things look the same. Here we have some more yachts. Look at all the yachts. Now you've seen the whole marina, pretty much. You have these bridges that you can pass also every like quarter of a mile. There's a bridge. You can get over to the other side. I need to try and make it all the way back. I'm back. Oh. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you got a little bit better understanding of what the marina looks like here in Dubai. In the next video I'm going on a yacht tour from the marina out past the Burj Al Arab. The world's only seven star hotel. I think it costs like starting at $2,000 per night. <laughs> but see you in the next video. Thumbs up for the video still if you liked it and also subscribe as I said, but see you next time.